Hey guys, I'm back. Eden's with me today. Hi. So it is battle box time. I had a little drama getting here. This box was lost, possibly stolen, missing, who knows, for a day or so, but it mysteriously ended up back at my door. Yay. Guess it wanted to be opened. So got to do some shout outs today because a little behind on that again. Shout outs today going to Jack Jackie. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, young kid starting his own YouTube channel. He's, he's got some some good solid potential going on with his videos. You should check them out. V La Mike, Herb Ryan King, Scarce Jev, one of my um, really great Patreon supporters, Eugene Monica. I'm not sure why they're on the list. I know there was a reason I specifically put, they didn't ask for a shout out, but I was gonna give them a shout out for something. And I apologize for forgetting. Um, and I cause chaos X, so thank you all for supporting this channel. There'll be more shout outs throughout the week, but thanks for supporting this channel and watching the videos and commenting and, and liking all the stuff we're doing. So um, we moved inside because someone out there is doing some construction stuff and it's uh, a bit noisy. So sorry the lighting's not as good, but here we go. So anyway, we're gonna get right into Battle Box for August 2018 using the good old, it's actually the good new, uh, off-grid sheepdog, which has been, here's Peter Kitty Cat sighting. What do you think, Peter? I think it's a good box. I'm going to see what's inside. You sniffing? Went to right. empty the box, now I'm dipping it. All right, so this <laughs> knife has been just a joy to work with around the shop and for all sorts of stuff. Um, it is a an absolute tank, so cannot recommend it enough. Peter, you're going to have to watch out. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got Mission 42, a tracking box. I just watched a, a quick video, but he gets his boxes for free from Battle Box, and you know how we always talk about the MSRP, how everybody is really good at finding these things for cheaper? He managed to find every single item on the list for more than what Battle Box estimates it as, or, or puts the MSRP value as. Um, amazing. Found the knife of the month. He said that's actually a hundred and twenty dollar knife, and it's like, well, I found it for a hundred and six when I looked. But anyway, so here's how Battle Box works. In case you don't know, there are four different levels. We have the Pro Plus here. Um, so I have paid one hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents for the Pro Plus. The Pro Plus includes everything in the basic, the advanced, the Pro, and the Pro Plus. The big difference between Pro and Pro Plus is it has the knife of the month. So. Whichever level you subscribe to, you get that level and everything else prior to that as well. These values are MSRP, right? So th this is not, like I said, very often you can find this stuff for less. And I'm sure if you try and you have a YouTube channel where you get your box for free, you might be able to find it for more and make it look all fancy. But uh, my viewers are really good at finding this stuff for the lowest possible price ever. So Mission 42, tracking box. Oh my god, I never read. Does anybody ever read all this stuff? I never do. Alright, so I've got everything stacked, ready to go. Um, I guess this is a free little bonus item here. It's an all-weather notebook. Take a look at the thickness on that all-weather notebook. Um, I feel like, while well, it's nice they stuck that in there, somebody used half the pages in my all-weather notebook. Um, I'm going to throw a link to a video I did all about these things, and I just I want you to take a look at this, and <laughs> I want you to look at how thick the brand new ones are. Um, from two or three different brands that I have in there. So cool bonus item, but like where's the rest of my all-weather notebook? But anyway, we've got that. Um, other stuff that's in the box. Um, so fire tax. Um, we've got a $5 off an order of $20 or more coupon. We've got... Uh, you could win a battle box all-white controller. from Zeus, who makes what in the box so far, I don't know, but we'll find out. And then, I've got a 25% off code for Nightshade. Um, don't wanna forget those. People get pretty upset when I forget to talk about those things in the boxes. So, let's start with the SAS Tracking Handbook with an MSRP of $12.99. So here's the SAS Tracking Handbook by Barry Davies, um, BEM stands for the British Empire Medal, um, having been deployed with a bunch of RAF, RAAF, and RCAF guys. I know all about that, because in 2012 there was a big to-do when they started awarding that um, for the Queen's, I think, Diamond Jubilee, the British Empire Medal. Um, so, I would tend to say 
this guy, former SAS operator, um, knows what he's talking about. So, the SAS tracking handbook, uh, obviously I've never read it. Look, I, I'm not a big tracker. I'm not even a little tracker. I don't do tracking at all, really. It's not my thing. Um, as a scout, we, we learned a little bit about it, but that was like years and years and years and years and years ago. So, here's all the chapters in the book. Got some cool full color pictures in and among everything. Looks like a pretty in depth book. And I've heard this guy's name thrown around as credible author uh, of some other stuff that he's written. Um, I might read this book, but what do you guys think? Would this be something that you'd be interested in grabbing in the big giveaway coming up? Would this be a cool prize? Would you guys like it? I'll put this in the like it pile. UST Learn and Live Animal Tracking Cards for $3.99. So what do we got there? Oh. Animal tracking cards. So facts, descriptions, and photos. I guess that's kind of a useful thing if you're, you know, going tracking. Trying to figure out what kind of animals are around. Um, actually, that's not a bad little reference guide to have. Nice plastic coated pages there. All weather. So what do we got? We got bear, we got deer, we got moose, we had a raccoon, we have a rabbit, we got a badger. You don't give a shit. Uh, squirrels, a red squirrel, a gray squirrel, porcupine, striped skunk. They got a deer mouse, a bobcat, and a coyote. Those are the animals they thought were most needed in this deck of learn and live tracking cards. Um, Three ninety nine. I don't know. I've never seen this before. I don't know how that price compares to anything else, but it's interesting. Um, I don't know to put it in the like it or the mat. So this this could be useful to me learning how to do that stuff. I don't know you more experienced guys. This just might be a waste of your time. So I'm going to put it kind of in the limbo pile for now. I'd love to hear your thoughts, you experienced hunter types. What do you think of these? Are these any good for for you at all? For somebody starting out, what is the usefulness of this? You tell me. We'll put it we'll put it in a little limbo area right there, okay? Next, animal tracks casting kit for 9.50 contains plaster and everything you need to start your animal to to to, to sorry yes <laughs> wow this kit contains plaster and everything you need to start your collection of animal tracks just add water um and, oh really so what do we play we're playing csi now yeah we're gonna make a plaster mold of the offender's tracks and then this is I think really, so this to me, this is like the stuff that you you buy in the science section of like a toy area. Like this is, a, you take the kids out and you make plaster casts of stuff. This is, is anybody, is anybody going to bring this with them on like a hunting trip or a camping trip? And like, hold on guys, let's make a mold of this and let's let it set and let's just sit here. Let's use our water to make a plaster mold of the tracks. Let me whip out my little track guide and let's compare it. Like, this to me is the only useful thing in that box. Cause, you know, yeah, you can look at all the, but like, what is, what is this for while you are actively, if, I mean, it's a tracking box, right? Okay. Are, are you carrying this around during your active tracking process? I, this would be a fun activity to do with the boys, sure. But I, I think this is ridiculous to include in Battle Box. Let's make plaster casts of animal tracks. And do what with it then? Put it on a shelf, paint it, and give it to Grandma for Christmas. Here, Grandma, here's a raccoon foot. We found it in the woods. What is this? This is like, you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and get this stuff. Um, great. So guess where this one's going. You know, straight and don't like it, Bob. That'd be kidding. Okay, whatever. Anybody play that game? Somebody suggested a drinking game where you figure out what pile I'm going to put stuff in and then take a drink when you're wrong. Um, or when you're right. I don't know. Okay. So, the Wazoo Tracking Field Kit. WTF. Oh, the Wazoo Tracking Field Kit again. Bandana for $14. So, here's the Wazoo Tracking Field Kit for $14. It's a bandana. It's a $14 bandana.
Mm, let's see. Are you fucking serious right now? Is this what I think it is? It's a ruler. I'm about to be so upset. It's a goddamn slap bracelet. These things were annoying when I was in high school. Fucking annoying now. <sighs> I had to stop the camera for a minute. I just got a slap bracelet in Battle Box. Granted, when it's in its kind of hard form, you make the dirty jokes. I, I, I got nothing right now. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a ruler that's cool, but could they have given me anything less cheesy than a freaking slap bracelet? I mean, this is what girls played with in high school when they were supposed to be paying attention in class. And I had to hear this over and over and over as they did their stupid slap bracelets. I have a watch on, so it's not going right there, but with their little rainbowy things and their little characters, they're super. Okay, but I guess it is useful to have a ruler, sure. But of all things, a slap bracelet. They sell these things out of little quarter vending machines, by the way, at the little grocery store over here. Slap bracelets. Not with the ruler, but still. So that's part of our $14.95, huh? So then we've got this bandana. Oh man, I'm so upset. After the, and you guys don't understand the back and forth drama I went through with the post office to find out where my box was. And now I'm kind of wishing I didn't, and I just let it go. Um, so let's see. Can we get this whole thing in? So we got this bandana, and it's got a bunch of tracks on it. And that's cool. And then if you want to, you can tie the bandana around your head and put the eyes on the back of your head, because, you know, you want to be cool. Um, so basically, I got a slap bracelet and a bandana for 15 bucks. I'll tell you what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do now. See these cards? See these cards that aren't a high school novelty and a ridiculous humor bandana? They're going right in the like it pile. And you know where this stuff's going? Um, I, it's going in the don't like it pile. This is, I, I mean, yeah, go right there. You know what? I found one thing that the slap bracelet is good for. Hold my bandana. There you go. It's a napkin ring. I got a napkin ring with a ruler on it. Awesome. Fantastic, then. Moving on. Fire tax, reflective trail markers for 450. So we've got 12 tax. Um, uh, trail marker. Now I, I do. I have done in my time a lot of woodland navigation. <laughs> Getting lost is not fun. So these kinds of markers, I think, are actually pretty awesome. I have not seen in the military world anyway 3D versions of these things. Um, let me go get something. Actually, hold on. Now, if you remember these trail markers from the VSSL canister, and I'll put a link to that video on this one too, so you can check that out, see the whole thing. Um, these are another style, and again, they're two colors. These are only kind of 2D though. And these are good markers if you happen to be looking at the exact side of the tree that you put them in, or whatever. Um, I actually kind of like these 3D ones though, because These give you coverage no matter what side of the tree you're looking at, well, as long as you're not looking up or down, I guess. Um, that's pretty cool. And these ones, these little triangle ones, that's really interesting. So it's nighttime, and over on the fence post over there, we have uh, some of those reflectives. We have the ones that came in Battle Box, and we have the ones that came in VSSL. I have my M1X Striker on the lowest possible setting. And let's see how these things compare. So on the end there, far on the right, you have the orange cube that just arrived in Battle Box. Then you have the white arrow from VSSL. And then you have the pyramid-shaped 
than the orange arrow from VSSL. So I've zoomed right in so you can get just kind of an idea of how reflective they are as I shine the light around them. Actually, it looks like in direct light, or close to it anyway, the VSSL ones are just a tad brighter. If you take a look there, uh, the orange cube, I don't know how it's showing up on camera right here, but the orange cube actually from this angle is super bright. And the pyramid one is just, I'm going to take the camera handheld to try to get the same view I have at my eye level. The pyramid is doing very well. There we go. There, there we go. I have the camera resting right, the, I have the light resting right on the camera. I mean, no matter how we move around, it is the brightest, shiniest. And I would have thought maybe the pyramid looking one. As we move the angle, the pyramid one shines really bright. I guess you got to hit that angled surface just right. But clearly, they are far and away outperforming the VSSL ones. And unfortunately, you only get 12 in here, depending on how far you're going and, you know, what you're doing and how complicated your trail is, you might need more. But I think we saw a discount code for more. And it looks like I can just about fit all 12 of these in the VSSL, VSSL container. I can probably fit more in the double size VSSL container. So I like this. I'm putting this in the like it pile. That's pretty cool. And for $4.50, I'd buy a few more sets of those and replace everything in my VSSL canisters. But that is everything that's in the basic box. So the basic box subscription is going to cost you $24.99 a month. This month, they say the MSRP value is $44.98. We ended up in, with three items in the like it pile. One, only because this item was so stupid. Now, moving into the advanced box. The advanced box will cost you $49.99 a month. Okay, it's going to include everything that came in the basic box, and it's going to include two more items. So first, we're looking for the Barska Lucid 8x21 binoculars for $14.99. I was sent two samples of small binoculars to check out and test. And I am still working on that video because for the life of me, I don't know how to shoot this camera through binoculars. But this looks like some standard, um, you know, just lightweight, relatively low power binoculars. Not much to say. Rubberized coating, that's nice. If any, yep, we do have some paperwork that comes with them. What I want to see is, uh, are they fog proof? Are they nitrogen filled by any chance? Okay, cool. So these are nitrogen purged, they are waterproof. That's what I was looking for. So you could drop these, um, there's no air inside of them. So there's no moisture, so that helps them stay fog resistant and stuff like that um, on the inside. Let me take a look. Pretty clear optical picture. Um, I mean, for basic 1495 binoculars, you know what I'm noticing now? Only one of the eye cups is adjustable for your specific eye. Some of the better ones have two. So you can customize it for each eye. Especially somebody like me that's got astigmatism in each eye, it helps. But these are not bad. So I'll put them in the like it pile. Not the best set of binoculars, but for $14.95, pretty good set of binoculars. And you know, pocket sized, um, carry them in a bug out bag or go bag, give you an advanced view of what's to come. Then we have the Battletech dual flagging dispenser for $19.99. Battletech, I've learned, if you haven't, is a battle box company. So a lot of times, you're not going to be able to find stuff that Battletech makes online anywhere but BattleBox. So, what do we got here? Standard um, PAL-sized straps for attaching to gear. Removable insert there. And it is basically just a pouch. I was thinking maybe it would have like a dispenser. It does say tape dispenser, but... When you tell me dispenser, I expect it to have some kind of opening, you know, or something that, oh, I don't know, dispenses the tape. I mean, this is really just a pouch. That's all it is. Um, so I, I can get a pouch just about anywhere. Um, probably find something for less than $19.99 in the same size and put some tape in it, some marking tape. 
which is interesting because you know they give me the the trail markers and then marking tape which I, I yeah you could do more stuff with the marking tape than just mark trails but that's probably what I'd be doing with it once I ran out of the trail markers um, I'm gonna put this in math because tell me it's a dispenser I want it to dispense not just be a pouch for carrying um, basically you carry the pouch open and just spool the tape but then you still have to cut it manually and all that other stuff so I can do this same thing with another product that's probably less expensive, so put that in meh. That's everything that comes in advance, only two items in the advanced. So the advanced box this month gives you a value of $79.96. On to the Pro, the Pro subscription will cost you $99.99 a month, I'm sorry for the, the glare again. The first item in it is the Nightshade 520HL tracking headlamp with an MSRP of $44.95. And free batteries. That's what Zeus is. Okay, so Zeus. Here's the Zeus thing. Power your world now. It makes sense. And you can win the Xbox controller from Zeus. Here's some specs on this real quick. Okay. Now, I did see the... Um, oh, here's the instructions right there, too. I saw the leak on this item online. So this is for tracking primarily when, you know, when you're talking about animals. This has a primary cyan light, which is supposed to be not only a good light for humans at night, you know, to help preserve night vision and stuff, but most game animals can't see it, I guess. I wonder how it performs in night vision goggles. I'm not. Sure, but I don't have any sevens to test it with, so I just don't know. Well, let's take a look at it before I just turn it on. So, nice stretchy elastic, and it's got, well, it basically looks like hot glue gun. But, I mean, you know, it's to help it hold firm against what you're putting it on. Um, rubber gasket helps keep it waterproof, or water resistant anyway. I don't see anything on here. I'm gonna have to look it up if there's like any IPX rating or anything like that. But first tap gives you that cyan light, which cyan I thought was a blue color, to tell you the truth. But this is kind of green. Second tap gives you a little white light LED. Third tap gives you a red light LED. And tap it again, now you've got all three. I'm not sure why you would want all three on at once, but you've got all three on at once and then you turn it off. Double tap, it should flash. You've got, there, we are now pulling over deer on the side of the road in the woods. Whoa, press it again, and <laughs> you've got, that's a hell of a signal um, if you need to kind of get someone's attention. Not bad. And now it's off. Now, if I triple tap, oh, well, that also gets me Okay, so I can go straight to that. And then if you go from any mode and you just hold for two seconds, it turns off. This is not the full flashlight test video that I was talking about, but I'll just do a really quick, let's check it out. This is the cyan light, and in real life it's showing up a lot more green than you see on the video here. And the video looks a lot more like white light. This is the white LED, which you can't see very far at all, and I have this thing right next to the camera. I mean, it's barely enough illumination. I don't know what the lumen is on it. Um, I don't know if it's set on the box, but it's not very high. Um, you can just barely see the grass in front of the camera there. Here's the red. Can't really see much at all. Even in real life, you can't really see anything. I guess reading maps and stuff that are made for red light visibility is all. And here's everything. And um, see, so if less cyan light with the other two lit up, maybe that's a function of battery power. Here's the flashers doing their flasher thing for signaling. And here's 
everything looking like some weird alien police car has showed up. And that's about it. I will do a whole separate flashlight review and test on this guy um, in the standard method I test all flashlights so we can see how it works at night. On the outset though, I think the whole concept of the cyan light is interesting. I'd like to see how it works at night. Um, I'm going to put it in the like it pile. $44.95, I'm not exactly sure um, value-wise how that is for this thing. So I'm going to put this one in the like it pile just because um, I think it's a cool light and it offers some different features. And I'm going to gonna please somebody greatly right now. Want to play with that? Yeah? Ethan's going to take it and run with it. All right. Don't look directly in it. Also in the Pro Box, we've got the Survival First Tracking Kit for $24.95, which is this guy right here. Nice semi-rigid case. So what do we got? It looks like there's supposed to be more in here, and it's just not there. Uh, let's see. So more tracking tape. Yay, okay. Um... Little tiny light. I guess we can use our fourth um, double A, triple A for this. So it's an interesting. It's got kind of a bluish tint to it. It's not a bad light. I mean, it's on or off. It doesn't do much, but it's lightweight. It's got a nice clip you and need help put this on my head. you need help put this on your head. So one more time outside just to check out this little light that came in our tracking kit. So there it is. It's actually right next to the camera. I don't have the camera on a tripod or anything right now. There's Stumpy out there. Um, but for looking just close up at stuff, it's not a bad light. You know? I mean, it's small. I couldn't even begin to estimate the number of lumens this thing is. Um, but it's a relatively small spotlight type light. Not like a very... I mean, you can see the field of regard for the light. But it's, it's pretty powerful for its size. You can see the kind of light beam with all the dust and stuff in it. So, not bad. It's actually, I, sorry, I didn't mean to point that right at the camera. It's a fairly bright light. So I don't have any other information on it. There's nothing in here like a list, but that's not a bad light. And um, I would probably replace it with something a little bit bigger. But what do you think? Giveaway item? I take it to the shop. I give it a once-over. Do it up pretty. Yeah? Giveaway item for this? What else we got? have a little compass. It looks like it should be mounted on something else. All right, so we got a little compass there. And then, oh look, a measuring tape. So I don't need a stupid slap wrist ruler. And it retracts. Um, we got a little marker. I've seen these things before. We've got a small signal mirror. You can use it for other things too, besides signaling. But let's see if we can get the protective goo off of it. It's actually a double-sided mirror. So, look, we got some little marker flags. So you can put this next to your favorite tracks. You want to see the marker flags? Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. Ethan's running around with the lamp on his head. Want to see little marker flags? See a flag? That can have one too. You want one? There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six more. So it comes with seven. And then another all-weather notebook that's little teeny tiny. This is an interesting little kit. Uh, you know, now the price, again, you guys can debate. Um, and again, real trackers among us. I would want to, I'd be curious to hear your input. What do you think of this setup? I don't know if I want to put this in the like it pile though, because I have a feeling a lot of it is dollar store type quality. I'm going to put it in the map pile right now. The case is nice. The case could be used for a lot of different things. Um, but eh, $24.95, I think the sum value of the items in it doesn't remotely equal up to that at all. 
So now we've got my favorite part. We've got the knife of the month, the Pro Plus. So like I said, I paid $149.99 for this whole thing. We get all that, we get the knife of the month. And today it's the Top Knives Tom Brown Tracker number four with an MSRP of 120. Now I told you I already found this knife on Amazon for 106. Tom Brown, interesting guy. Um, I, some people don't like him as much. Um, Tom Brown is, uh, as far as you know, woodsmen go, Tom Brown is a pretty good name. He has his own survival school. Um, I, you know, the, and the funny thing is about the, the Tom Brown tracker knife, he was in an interview once and he was asked, and you can look this up, what is like the top survival knife or what is the ultimate survival knife? And he said it didn't exist. And when the interviewer asked him why not, he said, because I haven't designed it yet. And the classic tracker knife shape that I think a lot of us will recognize when we look at this is the Tom Brown tracker knife. So the top knives, Tom Brown tracker number four, obviously is, is small, it's little, um, but I think if it's what I'm thinking it's gonna be, comes from that Tom Brown tracker shape. So let's take a look. Yep, it is a little teeny tiny version of that Tom Brown tracker shape. The Tom Brown knife is designed to do multiple things when you're out in the field doing your whole tracking stuff. Uh, it can chop, it can slice, it can be used to carve um, both, you know, wood and meat. Uh, it, it's a meat processing knife, it's a wood processing knife. Um, you can scrape your ferro rods on it. Uh, you can use this to um, cut through wood, through bone. I've also heard it will descale fish very well. Um, so now this is a very small one, obviously. I wouldn't do any chopping with this one. But the large, full size, and I guess now I've got to get one and do a video on it. The full size Tom Brown Tracker um, is a hefty, hefty, large weighted knife with lots of um, functions. So this is your, would be your, your chopping element, your carving and slicing element there. Almost like a big ulu blade. I was just talking about that with somebody. Um, let's see how this one performs, even though it's a small one. It's a nice clean cut there. I mean, it does pretty well. Both parts of the blade sharpened very nicely. And just look at that section there. Those, are, those teeth are ready to go. Whether you're making a notch in wood, whether you're trying to cut through bone, processing some game out in the field, whether you are um, whatever, I mean, this is, this one is pretty small, so you could wear this one, um, and you could see you could rotate this clip around, uh, wear it on you. It can, I guess if you wanted to, you can even make this a little neck knife. Um, it's small enough. I wouldn't, but I mean, a little mini survival knife there. You know, not my favorite knife of the month, but pretty good. I love Topps knives. I think they make great knives, great survival type knives, great outdoors knives. So obviously this one's going in the Leica pot, and I'll do more of an, an actual video just on this knife a little bit uh, compared to maybe a full-size Tom Brown tracker. We're all done. So I guess that does it. Mission 42, the tracking box. So overall, uh, I think this was kind of an interesting idea for a box. I'm not real thrilled with what came in it. We have So we have our two just don't like it items, this animal casting kit and this thing, which I think are both are ridiculous. Um, our meh items, these two kits, but again, just because it's mad at me doesn't mean it's mad at everybody. This will definitely go in the giveaway for sure. I'm not sure if this is going to go in the giveaway in its entirety or if I'll break up some of these pieces um, and put it in the giveaway. And even though these are Lycan items, you, they could find their way in the giveaway too. You could you could find some of them going into the giveaway. We're almost at 50,000 subs, so, you know, there's going to be that giveaways coming up anytime now. Overall, the box, though, um, well, I, I think it's better stuff than last month's box for sure. The theme doesn't have me too super excited, but I think that it's hard not to be more excited with August's box than it was with July box, because the July box was just, I feel like they just got random stuff and threw it in, um, because it all came from, you know, 
veteran-owned companies, which is great, but there had to be veteran-owned companies that made more of the stuff that we get BattleBox for. Um, but that's just my opinion. You know, what do you guys think? Would you have put everything in the same piles that I did? What What do you like? What don't you like? What are your uh, opinions on the theme? And do you have any cool learning tips for me or anybody else on any of the tracking-related stuff that comes in here? So, guys, don't forget to check out the links in the video description. Um, the video with the big giveaway coming up, you might want to think about joining up with the Patreon team. There's benefits to it, but one of the best ones is extra chances at all the giveaways. So check out that link. Also, link to my Facebook page. You can see some random pictures there of stuff going on and uh, some updates. As well, as it's a great way to get in touch with me if you want to talk to me, ask me any questions or, or whatever. And then my standard email addresses are in there too. So, with that being said, let me remind you all that you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.